everyone, today we're going to make a soy friend. Please have an adult next to you while you do this experiment for your safety. What is a siphon? A siphon draws a liquid from one container which has a high potential energy to another container which has a lower potential energy. Siphons are used in irrigation in farmlands, toilets, kitchen sinks, and aquariums. What we're using in this experiment is a cup of water which has green food coloring so you could see the water brighter and a straw, a skewer, a test tube, an empty bottle. I'm going to take the bottle and we're going to cut it into half. We have cut the bottle in half and we're going to make a hole in the middle of the cap and we're going to put the straw through the hole. Next, cut a small piece of skewer and attach it to the end of the test tube. We have made a hole in the cap and we have put the straw through the cap and we seal the straw with some hot glue. And we also attach the cut piece of skewer at the end of the test tube and we attach this cut piece of skewer with some hot glue. Why we put the cut piece of skewer at the end of the test tube to make water go in the test tube and into the straw. This is the cut piece of skewer attached to the test tube. And I'm gonna take the straw which is attached to the cap of the bottle and I'm going to put it back on the bottle. I'm going to put the test tube which is attached to the cut piece of skewer into the plastic bottle like this. So I'm going to pour some water into the siphon. And no water comes out and the siphon doesn't start. Why the siphon doesn't start? Because the water level has to reach the top of the straw so the siphon can start. So I'm going to pour some more water. And the, the siphon starts! Whoa! So when the water reaches the top of the straw, the siphon can start. So how the siphon works is when I pour water to the top of the straw, the siphon starts by water goes into the test tube and the water in the test tube goes into the straw and it goes to the other end of the straw and it goes out of the straw. Let me try. So I'm going to fill the cup with water and then I'm going to pour the water from the cup into the bottle. And, and the, the siphon is starting! Whoa! So how the siphon works is when we pour water into the plastic bottle, the water level reaches to the top of the straw and some water goes into the test tube and the water in the test tube goes into the straw and it goes to the other side of the straw and it comes out of the straw and it goes onto the tray. Now we have made a siphon and we tested the siphon and we learned how it worked. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, Kids Girl, for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye!